Hi, Jenna. Um, took a closer look at your scan. And yeah, the movement that you made is so minimal. Some of it's in the right direction. And then some of it, you know, like you said, with the muscle loss and stuff, we want to reverse and keep an eye on. But in general, how well you maintained throughout the summer. Your last scan was on June 30th. So how well you maintained through the summer was pretty freaking awesome. Um, So... A lot of the weight loss that we saw was in the form of uh, water. You're 1.8 pounds, almost 2 pounds less than your scan in, in June. Okay, you did lose 0.9 pounds of skeletal muscle, uh, not skeletal muscle, dry lean mass. So that is your uh, muscle cells. That's a little bit significant. Don't love that. Okay. <clears throat> And even if I take a look at your last scan there, you had lost 0.4 from June 2nd to June 30th. So, yeah, you're looking at... What was June 2nd? Hold on here. 32.8 to 31.5. So 1.3 pounds of muscle cell loss since the beginning of June. Yeah, we don't love that. We gotta stop losing muscle for sure. All right. So we gotta take a closer look at your macros and what you're doing here. Um, all right, so you did lose 0.4 pounds of body fat as well from your scan at the end of June, which is crazy because it's showing that your body fat percentage went up, even though you did lose almost half a pound of body fat. But I've seen that before. It's usually a lot to do with like the water and fluctuations and stuff like that. Um, so the D shape here is not quite as pronounced, I would say, as the one that you had there. You lost 3.1 pounds of weight under the uh, 160 mark in the 150s, which I know was a major goal of yours, which is cool. Um, but unfortunately, you did lose 2.4 pounds of skeletal muscle mass, and you lost 0.4 pounds of body fat. So we definitely need to do something about this muscle loss thing happening. And it's probably diet and macros and just not, if I had to guess, not getting enough protein. But it could be, you know, a combination of all protein, fat, and um, carbs. A lot of times when people are losing um, um, muscle, they're not getting enough carbs as well, so... Let's take a look at your diet there. All right. Um, what happened with your muscle since the end of June? Your lower, your upper body decreased percent ability to support your body weight, and your lower body stayed pretty good, and even your left leg got a little bit stronger, which could be contributed to all of the running. All right. So that's good. It's good. Obviously, we don't want to see our lower body decreasing in strength, but you know, just the fact that you're running so much, I'm, I, I, I expect that. That's not a surprise. So, the body fat, um, mass loss. What the hell am I saying? Let me get my bearings. All right. The recommendation for you to lose body fat is six pounds. Okay, at the end of June, it was 5.5. .5. So that's only up half a pound, which makes sense. That's that half a pound. So whatever happened with the fat over the summer, I'm not really concerned about that. I'm definitely, like you, more concerned with the, the, that you lost muscle. So we need to fix our foods a little bit to take a look at that. Where did you gain some fat? This little bit of fat that you gained, interestingly enough, was in the legs. You actually lost half a pound in your core. And your arms stayed the same. Your visceral fat level stayed the same. So, do me a favor. Oh, let's talk about this number here. So, we definitely need to be consuming this number. I'm not sure. Send me your macros and your calories when you get a chance. This is your basal metabolic rate, 1,512. It's decreased since uh, June of 1,538. Not, not a big in a decrease, but... It did decrease. So this is the number of calories you need to get in a day at a minimum. If you get less than this, then you won't. You definitely won't support muscle gain. All right. And we want to look at 
Okay, yes, we want to lose this six pounds off, but more importantly, we want to stop um, losing muscle. So we got to take a close look at your diet. So send me your macros and send me um, how many calories you're getting in a day. All right, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Let me know questions.